An engineer named John Roebling was inspired by an idea of building a magnificent suspension bridge connecting New York with the Long Island. He had put forward his idea to the bridge building experts throughout the world, but no one was interested even to think about it further and asked John to forget about it. According to them, it was a very difficult task, something which had never been attempted before and is not practical. Roebling, however, was determined and would not think of ignoring his dream. He thought about it day and night and wanted to share it with someone who would believe in his idea. John's son, Washington, was a naive engineer then. He trusted his father's vision and believed that the bridge could be built. John and Washington, working together for the first time, developed concepts of how the bridge could be built. A big challenge lay before them, but they were ready to face it as they had excitement and inspiration deep in their heart. They hired their crew and the construction of their dream bridge began on January 3, 1870. The project started well, but after a year, a tragic accident at the site took John Roebling's life. Hence, Washington took over and was in charge of the bridge. However, after a few months, Washington too suffered a paralyzing injury, which left him with certain amount of brain damage. He was not able to walk or talk. With no one to supervise, the construction stopped. Everyone around the world was negative about the future of the project and felt that it should be taken off as only the Roeblings knew about the plans of construction of the bridge. These remarks hurt and shocked Washington, who lay still on the bed of his hospital. His desire and enthusiasm was still alive. He wanted to get up and continue his work, but his physical condition did not allow him to. Washington could move only one finger, and this gave him an idea. He called his wife Emily and tapped on her arm, indicating her to call back the crew and the engineers. This worked well as Emily started understanding Washington's indications by just the tapping of his finger. She conveyed his instructions to the engineers, and soon the construction of the bridge was back at full swing. For next 11 years, Washington gave instructions by tapping on Emily's arm, and she patiently decoded his messages and relayed them to the crew. The bridge was finally completed and opened with a big celebration in May 1883. Today, the 5,989 feet Brooklyn Bridge stands over the East River as a tribute to the victory of John and Washington's strong spirit, will power and determination. It is also a tribute to the engineers who had faith and trust in a man who was half paralyzed. The bridge also reflects the love and affection of Emily towards her husband. The story of Brooklyn Bridge portrays a very good example of having a vision, believing in it, and then pursuing it with a never say die attitude. No matter what obstacles you face, if you have a dream, then go ahead and fulfill it. Have strength of mind and be determined in life.